Prince Harry has gone from lovable larrikin to cringy grifter in the space of a few short years. The selfish and brazen attacks on his family, former friends and the media has put many of the Prince's former fans offside, with his list of enemies growing longer by the day. Sky News All-Stars Kinsey Schofield, Russell Myers and Esther Kraku take a deep dive into the wars that Prince Harry is fighting on numerous fronts. Prince Harry's first and biggest battle is with his family. From abandoning them and moving his family to the United States, to the release of his tell-all book, the royals have had enough of the wayward black sheep. But this rift has grown even deeper since the death of Queen Elizabeth II and subsequent health battles that have consumed the royal family since the start of 2024. With reports Kate Middleton wants nothing to do with her brother-in-law, says Sky News All-Star Kinsey Schofield. Some royal insiders are also claiming that uh, Prince Harry has not reached out to his sister-in-law since she did have that two-week stay in hospital for abdominal surgery back in January. But we're also hearing that that ill feeling is mutual with reports saying that Princess Kate wants nothing to do with him. Well, uh, when, when I saw we were going to be discussing this, Rita, my first instinct was to text you. Can you blame her? Can you blame her? I wouldn't <laughs> want anything to do with him either, especially with how protective they're being around her health right now at this very moment. He's obviously an individual that you can't trust. He published word-for-word -word text message exchanges between the Princess of Wales and his wife, Meghan Markle, in his book, Spare. You know, he sold his soul. So yeah, I would not trust him I wouldn't I wouldn't even trust him with a get well soon I wouldn't take that phone call well yes it would mysteriously end up in the newspapers or in a podcast or one of their other platforms Prince William is standing in solidarity with his wife and also seemingly severed all ties with his brother says Daily Mirror royal editor Russell Myers as you said, that olive branch offered by Harry seems to be resoundingly rejected, which you can understand. Even Donald Trump uh, has today taken a view on this. Now, Prince Harry, we understand, is against the idea. Do we know precisely the reasoning? Well, the issue for Prince William is certainly that uh, he feels that his brother uh, needs to come to the table and apologise to the family. You've had you know, countless TV interviews, starting with the Oprah Winfrey, then the Netflix series, the, the memoir that absolutely savaged um, each and every member of his family, and still no accountability from Prince Harry, uh, still no relationship with his brother. I mean, Prince William has got an awful lot on his plate at the moment. He's got his, uh, his father taking a leave of absence, undergoing cancer treatment. His wife has been in hospital. She's not going to be coming back to royal duty for a fair uh, few weeks at least. And, you know, Harry on the other side of the pond pontificating about how he could sort of save the royal family is certainly not the order of the day for Prince William. And I think that he's been pretty appalled by his behaviour um, and, uh, and certainly wouldn't wait welcoming him back. And uh, who could blame him? And it's not only the UK that's turning on Harry. The Sussex's new home of the United States is also starting to see his true colours with Donald Trump coming out in an interview slamming Harry and Meghan's treatment of the late Queen and suggesting there are no guarantees that Harry won't be deported under a Trump regime. Uh, she, you know, I would say, although she wouldn't show it because she was strong and smart, mm. but I would imagine they broke her heart. The things that they were saying were so bad and so horrible. And uh, she was in her 90s and hearing this stuff. I think they broke her heart. No, think, it was horrible. I think they it really hurt her very But if he's, if he's lied on his visa form, yeah, doesn't, doesn't, know, doesn't the truth need to come out? We'll have I to. mean, should, should he get special privileges that nobody else does? No, and we'll have to see uh, if they know something about the drugs and if he lied, they'll have to take appropriate action. Appropriate action? Yeah. Which might mean not staying oh, in Oh, I don't know. You'll have to tell me. You <laughs> just have to tell me. Uh, you would you would have thought they would have known this a long time ago. Mm, you would. But I thought they were very disrespectful to the family, to mm. the royal family. I'm a big fan of the concept of the royal family and the royal family. Now, I'm a little prejudiced because I thought the Queen was incredible. I mean, think of it. All those years, 75 years, 
she, she's almost never made a mistake. Right. Sky News All-Star Louise Roberts adds, a lobby group in the UK is crusading against Prince Harry to have his visa documents released publicly in yet another bid to have him deported. Well, this is the visa issue that will not go away for Harry, mainly born out of the fact of the boasts that he made in his own autobiography about taking drugs. Of course, that's a big no-no if you're trying to get, you know, to be settled as a, uh, with a visa or whatever it's a legal situation you think of in the UK. So, and a lobby group in, um, sorry, in the US, a lobby group in the UK have really, have like, have got the bit between their teeth. They want this paperwork out there. They want to know whether Harry has said yes or no to drug taking either now or in the past as well. And what's happened this week is a US judge has sort of thrown out um, an argument from the American government that this would invade Harry's privacy if this paperwork were to be made public. The judge has said, well, that doesn't actually hold water, so please release it. So whether this does happen, who knows? I get the feeling there's a lot of back-channeling going on here between the UK and US governments to sort of protect Harry, and who knows what he wrote on the form. I will add, though, that even if you do um, sort of claim to take drugs, in your autobiography. There's no proof, of course, of this. And also, um, you can get a waiver. There are ways around this, particularly if you're um, related to the King. Prince Harry's visa issue has become quite the political football in the US, with the Biden administration defending Prince Harry in stark contrast to Donald Trump, who is talking tough. Kinsey, did he answer truthfully? Did he admit to this illicit drug use? Or is, as the Biden administration suggests, he made up all those details about taking cocaine and other drugs to, to sell books. It wasn't actually true. Well, I, I, obviously the Biden administration didn't watch the many interviews he gave to promote this book, Rita. Remember when he sat down with that doctor and they got into the weird hallucinogenics that made him see the truth or whatever, however he described it at the time? <laughs> Harry not only wrote about it in this book, but he's spoken about it in interviews that, that you know, um, I think that we might be one step closer to getting the answer. The Heritage Foundation said they were confident after the judge said that he was going to take a look at those papers and determine whether or not it was a value, uh, you know, and, and of a value to the public uh, because it was only a few weeks ago that Prince Harry told Good Morning America that he was considering becoming a citizen. So if that's the case, American citizens do want to know, did he lie on his application? Did, did he get any special treatment because he's a prince? Uh, you know, a judge might look at the information and say, you know what, Americans deserve to know the truth here. Prince Harry was dealt another blow when he lost his legal challenge against the UK government for security protection when he is in the country, explains Russell Myers. Well, I certainly think he will appeal this judgment because Prince Harry has been through some more twists and turns than uh, an HBO drama uh, with this court case. I mean, it's absolutely unprecedented taking the British government to court. He wasn't happy with the Home Office's decision to take away that taxpayer-funded security. But the argument still remains that you know, Harry has uh, left the royal family. He's earned tens and tens of millions of dollars in the corporate world, and he should be able to afford uh, security for himself and his family. I mean, his argument has always been he doesn't feel safe bringing his uh, his wife and children to the UK. He feels, as a son of the king and a former member of the armed services, that he is under threat all the time. And I think the British government's point of view is that, uh, you know, that threat is uh, certainly perceived by Harry and certainly possibly not in the real world a lot of the time. So I do think he will appeal it. And uh, it'll be interesting to see whether the Court of Appeal does, uh, does sort of change this judgment. It's not only royals and politicians who are after Prince Harry. A stripper has also come out of the woodwork, threatening to post naked pictures of Harry from one of his trips to Sin City, explains Russell Myers. And now a blast from the past has come back to haunt Prince Harry. I thought what happened in Vegas was meant to stay in Vegas. <laughs> well, good evening, Carol. Well, I mean, Harry must have been absolutely hoping and praying it was because it's a, a pretty of an awful set of circumstances. The woman that he was in, uh, engaged with in that uh, infamous evening in 2012 where we saw Prince Harry and the buff playing naked billiards is, uh, is coming back to haunt him. And she is saying now that she has some pictures that she, she likes, would like to sell possibly on the OnlyFans site. And she's pretty much saying that she was aggrieved that she didn't get a uh, mention in his memoir Spare. I mean, everybody else did within the royal family, but unfortunately, Miss Royale, as she is uh, aptly named, did not. So whether 
whether she will earn a couple of million bucks as she said she wanted to or not remains to be seen but you know, only fans for their part have said that she would need consent to part uh, to pass any of these images off on their website which i can't imagine harry giving but it's an interesting tale anyway and i'm sure one uh, harry didn't like explaining over the breakfast table when the papers dropped and as prince harry's new life in the united states may be the envy of many sky news all-star esther Kraku says he appears to be quite lost in the wind. A lot of this, and from a lot of the kind of images that we're getting from Harry's um, jet-setting uh, lifestyle, he just seems quite listless. He seems quite lost in the wind. I mean, this is someone who grew up in the royal family, who then joined the army, and I think he should have stayed in the army. Um, you would think that the life in Britain, in the royal family, in, in the kind of service that he was allowed to do in his role would have meant a lot more to him. I don't think it's particularly satisfying to be seen with Chris Jenner's uh, now partner um, a family that are known for prostituting themselves and for having ludicrously proportioned backsides uh, i don't think that's exactly where he thought his life would go but you know this is this is where he's led himself